Hello friends, welcome back. If you want to know how the data is managed in MySQL database using PHP MyAdmin tool, then you are watching the right video. Please watch the full video to get maximum benefit. In this video, I will be covering topics like creating a database, creating, updating and deleting tables, inserting, selecting, updating and deleting data both manually and by SQL queries, exporting and importing data. Consider an example where a car dealer called ABC have started sales of two newly launched cars called Alpha and Beta. So they want to keep a track of people who have made inquiries to this car and they also want to keep a track of sales that is customers you, who have purchased the car. Now let us see how this information is stored and managed in the database. This is how PHP MyAdmin tool looks. It is a free and open source administration tool used to manage MySQL database. The first step is to create a database. In the left hand section, please click on a link called new. Here, please provide the database name. In our example, we will provide ABC car dealer as a database name and click on create. Once you create, you will see the database listed in the left side along with the other existing databases. Now, the next step is to create two tables that is inquiry and sales. Click on the database name from the list. Here, please provide the table name. I will provide inquiry as the table name. Here, we need to specify the number of columns. I will specify six because we have six columns in the inquiry table. And click on go. Now, we need to provide all the column names for the inquiry table. Let us provide one by one. The first column is enquiry ID. Second column is enquiry date. The third column is enquirer name. The fourth column is the car model. Fifth column is contact number. And the sixth column is email ID. Now, for inquiry ID, the type will be integer because it contains only numerical values. In length, I will provide 20 because the length of the values in the inquiry ID column will not exceed more than 20 digits and I will set this column as auto increment which will allow a unique number to be generated when a new record is inserted and in index I will select unique for this column because at least one column should be unique in the table to perform edit and delete operations on the table. Now, for the next column, inquiry date, I will provide type as date. And for inquirer name, I will provide type as text because it contains alphabets. And uh, the length, I will give maximum length is 50. And for car model, again type I will provide as text. So the maximum length would be not more than 10. And for contact number, I'll give as integer because the contact number only contains digits. And I'll give maximum of 15. And for email ID, I will select as worker because it includes both text and as well as symbols. So the maximum length of an email ID would be 25. Once you have provided all the information, please click on save. 
now you can see that inquiry table is created with all the specified columns please create sales table in similar way once you have created both the tables when you click on the database name from the list you will see both the tables inquiry and sales table listed under abc car dealer database now let us see how to update the table click on the table name that is inquiry click on structure now let's say we need to add a new column to the table so you can see here add one column after so i want to add this column after this email id column so add one column after email id column click on go give the name for a column let's say i will give extra as the column name so type i will select let's say integer length i will give let's say 10 click on save now click on structure again as you can see the column called extra is created now let's say we need to change the column name now for that please select the column name which you need to change click on change link now let's say i want to name it as i want to update this as demo column click on save you can see that the column is updated to demo column now let's say i need to delete some column so for that please select the column which you need to delete here please click on drop option confirm that you need to delete now as you can see the column is deleted from this table now let us see how to insert data into the table there are three methods to do it one is inserting manually another one is inserting through sql queries another is importing data by excel sheet let us see all these methods one by one to insert manually please click on the database name from the list click on the table name inquiry now click on the link insert here you can manually insert the data here as you can see inquiry id i will give one inquiry date i will select the date from the date picker in inquiry name i will give john in car model i will give alpha in contact number, I will give 99999. Email ID, let's say I will give john at the rate of abc.com. And click on go. Now one row is inserted. So click on the table name, inquiry. You will see that one row is inserted. Inquiry ID 1, date, john, alpha, contact number, and john. Now, let us see how to insert data through SQL queries. Click on the table name inquiry. Click on SQL link. Click on insert button. This is how SQL query for insert looks. It says insert into table called inquiry. And these are the column names. Now we need to provide values for this column names. So let us see how to provide it. Please remove this, open a single bracket and close it. Inside this, for each value, please provide single quotes. That is, inside single quotes, provide the value. So for inquiry ID, I will provide two, comma. Then for inquiry date, I will provide date in year, month and date format because SQL takes this format only comma then inquire name i will provide as peter comma then for car model i will provide let's say beta comma and contact number let's say i'll provide 
8888 and for email id let's say i'll provide peter at the rate abc.com now please click on go now as you can see one row is inserted to check please click on the table name you can see that Enquiry ID 2, date, Peter, data, contact number, email ID is inserted. Now, let us see how to insert data by importing from an Excel sheet to sales table. As you can see, this is the Excel sheet which is having sales data. Please make sure that the value in the each column in the Excel sheet is matching with the column name in the table. As you can see, the first column is customer ID, the second column is purchase date, the third column is customer name, the fourth column is car model, the fifth column is contact number, and the last column is email ID. Please save this file in CSV format and name the file as sales, which should be same as the name of the table. Once the data in the Excel sheet in CSV format is ready, come to the database, please select on sales table, here please click on import and import the file from the local system and click on go. As you can see the records are inserted. To check please click on the sales table and you can see that all the records from the CSV file is imported. Now let's say you need to update some customer's information. Let's say I need to update Peter's information. So I will select Peter's row. I'll click on edit. And let's say I want to um, change his contact number. So I will just change his contact number. And I will click on go. And you can see that the contact information of the Peter is changed or updated. Now let's say I need to delete some customer's information. Let's say I need to delete Peter information. I'll click on Peter and click on delete. I'll confirm the deletion and you can see that the customer Peter's information has been deleted from the table. Now let us see how to export the sales table. Click on export, select the format I will select CSV and click on go and save it to your local system and open the folder you will see the sales table exported with all the information. Now let's say I need to delete all the records in the sales table. Click on the sales table, go to more click on operation, come down and click on empty the table and give the confirmation and you will see that all the records in the sales table is deleted. Now let's say I want to delete enquiry table itself. So click on the enquiry table, click on more, click on operations, come down and click on delete the table. Confirm it and the enquiry table will be deleted from the database. Now let us see how to select, update and delete records in sales table using SQL queries. Click on sales table. As you can see we have 10 records in the sales table where some customers have purchased alpha car and some customers have purchased beta car. Let's say I want to see only the details of customers who have purchased the alpha car. So click on SQL, click on select star. This is how the SQL query looks. Select star that is all records from table sales where remove one where select car model is equals to put the value that is in single quote put alpha that means select all the records 
from sales stable where car model is equals to alpha click on go so here you will see only seven records out of 10 now let's say i don't want to see all the records of customers who purchased alpha car i just want to see the customer name so click on sql in this case click on select here in this sql query i can select only the column for which i need information in this case i need only the customer name so i will delete all the other column names so select customer name from sales table where car model is equals to alpha click on go now you will see only the customer names who is purchased alpha car now let's say i need to update a contact number of one customer called mary in sales table so as of now mary's contact number is 777777 i need to update to 111111 so click on sql click on update button so this is the update query update sales table set column so here i need to set only the contact number so i'll remove all the other columns so update sales set contact number as value so here i am setting as 11111 where so i need to give the condition so where the customer name is mary so as you can see update sales table set contact number as 111111 where customer name is equals to mary click on go one row is affected to check please click on the sales table yeah here you can see the mary's contact number is updated to 111111 now let's say i need to delete all the customer records who has purchased alpha car click on sql click on delete button now this is how the delete query looks delete from sales table where i need to give the condition where car model is equals to alpha that means delete from sales where car model is equals to alpha click on go please give the confirmation seven rows affected so to check please click on sales you will see only beta record is here all the customers who purchased the alpha car is been deleted thank you friends please like share and subscribe to the channel